your sexual orientation should not matter. Romance is always optional in video games. But that's the thing. My thing about that is don't make that a plot point. Oh, exactly. Don't make that the finding point of your character where it's just like he's the gay that makes him cool. Konnichiwa, YouTube. Mushi, mushi. Hello, hello. Back again, Studio B21. I admit, we are a little bit late on this one. We haven't been able to get together in since uh, for a while to collaborate, but we are coming at you with another fresh video game trailer for one of my favorite series. Though it has, I will admit, it has gone down in quality a bit over the years, but we will get to that later in the video. We want to sit and look at the new Assassin's Creed Shadows, a game that since the first one, when you were a tent, when you were a crusader, jumping into a pail of hay, that they said, this setting is what we want for an Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, Ninjas, was like Samurai, Japan. That was every gamer's fantasy. It's like, yeah, imagine that in Japan. How cool did that be? Amazing. And we have finally gotten our wish. But at what cost, Nino? At what cost? It's the world we're living in, the sweet baby nation. The sweet baby nation of DEI hires and the companies going woke, turning the freaking frogs gay. <laughs> it's, the, it's something in the water. <laughs> turning the frogs gay. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding, guys. I Who, fucking wh love. Whoever you want to love, feel free. Listen, you know? we're recording this on June 2nd. Happy Pride, y'all. We love you. Yeah, well, I'll be at the parade. Uh, probably with his shirt off. Yeah. Maybe I'll be walking in it if I get that day off work. You want to go? Let's go. I mean, I'm down with it, yeah. Yeah. Happy Pride, y'all. Happy Pride. Anyways, shall we? Shall we, Mr. Nino? Let's do it. All right. <sighs> Get him. Sorry to pause, guys, but like I said, this is what we have always wanted. Feudal Japan, like assassins ninjas, real-life assassins. You know? It's beautiful. It was like the ninjas in the crusade time, yeah. which was awesome. But, but then... Yeah. yeah. Who are you? Who do you love? All I have ever known in my life. Our land. Looks amazing. It looks beautiful. Our customs. My family. What's that guy? Burns. In the name of unification. What do the guys do? Pretty cool. Flames in the water? That's so cool. Awesome graphics. The traditional burning of the hero's village. Nothing of the sea. The, the oceans filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Greed. The black man cornrows. another path beyond what we see and we must look for it together
We must learn to trust. Rebuild. And follow the blade. I said, who do you stop? That guy. We are the shadows that serve the light. Okay. doesn't say they removed the this they, button. so guys with 8.3 million views two weeks ago when it's uploaded only 284,000 people have liked this that's not a great percentage that's not a great percentage and they've gone to the lengths of now hiding the dislike number it's the world we live in like you said the, the woke culture is the among woke, us the woke culture like we said but you know, he's trying not to get cancelled. Yeah, we try. We don't really succeed, but, you know. You know. It's just like, you know. What can you do? People work hard. They say the wrong things. And, and, then, and then they say it in front of a recording camera on the internet. Yeah, chances are, whatever you said wrong, you said 15 years ago. It will come back to party. And it's like, it meant nothing at the time, but it's just like, take anything out of context. I'm and, waiting. I'm waiting for the stuff I take got taken out of context for to research you know, this. I know I, what I said, get me canceled. Oh, yeah. said years ago. But, so. I mean, you probably said it to me. To <laughs> probably. You, when we were on the line together. <laughs> But but was it recorded? Mm. Was it on the Facebook? Yeah. Otherwise, it didn't happen. Thank God I don't have Facebook anymore. Well, Anyways, yeah. the controversy with this one, guys, one of them now, is that, I don't know if you noticed, Nino, but the guy in that video, he kind of was the black. The black? Uh, the token black, you Rich in melatonin? Very rich in melatonin. Mm, melanin? Melanin. There melanin? you go, sir. Yes. Melatonin puts you to sleep. Yes, I need that. I, I do too. Well, yeah. But, truly, he is based off an actual historical figure. I don't mind Black Samurais. I like, think it's awesome. Afro Samurai was amazing. I mean, you know, I guess, I guess I can appreciate that they are going for realism in a game about assassins versus Templars with magical world destroying artifacts. You know, and you could just, you know, stop time and I mean, have him wait and, you know. Have Leonardo da Vinci almost chop off your pinky in the second one as a joke to make your hidden blade? Yeah, then just like sleep to recover all your full health and, you know, recover from injuries like that. Be 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 a pirate, no black beard. Like for some like in these games, you have to the ancestry is just spot on because you know every historical figure apparently. Yeah. Or at least you meet them within five seconds of being in the game. Or you, you download the right comp content for the price. Oh, I know. The DLC, and you can do whatever you want. You can fight Anubis in Egypt. You know. For God's sake. For the right amount of uh, money. For the right amount of Ubisoft bucks. I mean. Is it a fact that the culture we live in now is casting dispersions on it? If this came out... If this Before came out in two, if culture, this came out in two thousand eight, would it be still cool? It would be it? game of the fucking year. It would be cool. It wouldn't be any controversy. It would be, it'd be a fresh take, right? But like I said, this is also potentially a series that have been dragged through the mud at this point. Like mm -hmm. the horse, the horse is tired. It can't plow the field anymore. 
<laughs> the, the horse but I, is drowning in the field. The horse is drowning in the field. You have done so many time periods, so many games. We know that history is boundless. And I appreciate the fact that you are doing what the fan base has wanted. You are going to Japan. You are doing Samurai and Ninja. However, Ubisoft, you've done it 12 years too late. I think it's a timing thing rather than anything else. It is. Right? You know? And I personally have no problem with Yasuke being a black samurai. In fact, if you want to criticize Yasuke for being a black samurai, you need to go on Netflix and watch the anime about him with giant mecha, with mecha robots and demons in Japan. That seems factual accurate. No, no, don't do this to me. Is it historically accurate? Were you there? Can you prove it wasn't there? That's all I'm asking, right? You know what? You're right. You're right. (laughs) I wasn't there. And neither were you. That's the thing. So before you go, unless you truly are a historian and can 100% say that as a retainer, he has no point being Nobunaga's retainer, one of the most feared and successful warlords in feudal Japan being his retainer which brings us to another thing that people are going on about the fact that apparently both main characters once again happy pride are LGBTQ oh he's the gay he could not be the gay he could be the bi he could like both the hot dog and the taco okay but mm-hmm. you know what? If it's under five bucks, I'll eat both. Uh, wow. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. In this economy, it's actually ten. Oh, with the tax. Ah. Mm-hmm. But anyways, not matter. Romance is always optional in video games. But that's the thing. My thing about that is, don't make that a plot point. Oh, exactly. Don't make that the finding point of your character, where it's just like. It's, He's the gay that makes him cool. You in know? a game where you're going to be slashing up minion after minion yeah. of samurai. It's like, that truly doesn't matter. Exactly. It's like, why even include it if it doesn't even matter? You know? It's just like, every game, it's like, oh, by the way, he's straight. Okay. You know, it's like, it's like we don't care. Wait, Duke, Duke Nukem was straight? I'm not sure he did. So. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, could have been into bestiality. Uh, you know what? In that video game series, you're not wrong. Probably. Mm. Why would he be in a dark dungeon? We, we'd have to. We'd have to ask all the strippers in those video games. Ooh. I can. I want most speed dial. Oh, Jesus. But anyways, guys, I like the trailer. I think it's going to be a decent game. I just think it's too late. Well, the backlash against this upset you be. Uh... Soft stocks down 10% within the last ten month, uh, six months. And this trailer came out two weeks ago, though. Yeah. So it's already been happening. Like I said, you're a company that has essentially... You're doing the Nintendo thing of bringing Mario out of the dungeon whenever they need a new game. You're doing the Nintendo. You're bringing out the Assassins. And you're throwing darts at a board going... Holy shit, it actually landed in feudal Japan. Like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Which character wait, should so, we get? So, to, so, uh, not, not Japanese. Wait, does I... that mean we're not going to be able to do the World War One Assassin's Creed with the Indonesian fighter pilot gay lover boy? Oh, with, scrap. With, you with his Mexican lover. Lay off the entire department. You're done. Hmm? The, the sweet baby ink strikes again. I know. Deal. You know, but... Honestly, it looks like okay to me. Yeah. It's just the timing of this whole woke culture thing. It was like, and backlash against the woke culture. Exactly. Where it's just like. Listen, honestly, corporations, nothing you do is going to be right. Well, you, yeah. You it's can't, June. You can't you, pander to both sides. That's the problem. You know, you, all the corporations are changing their. Trademarks of rainbow colors. The corporation I work for, they just put up uh, rainbow flags in the office. Yeah. You know, it's just like, 
yeah, it's pandering. And they're all doing it. They're doing it for the money. Oh, yeah. You know? They're doing it so they don't get on the internet for the wrong reason. It's like, buddy, it's like, chase the cash. Gay people have cash, too. At know? least be honest about why you're chasing the cash, though. It's like, be honest about it. And we like, all know it. And it's like, but don't forget, don't piss off the people who just want a good, solid game. Exactly. You know? Where it's just like, I mean, there's let's... nothing wrong with having a Japanese samurai set in feudal Japan. Exactly. That's all I'm saying. In fact, I, if you wouldn't have told me about it, my guess for this original trailer would be that Nobunaga is actually going to be the main villain. That would have been cool. That would have been amazing. You had to take, if you, if it was just the female ninja taking out all the generals, little by little. That would have been a beautiful game. You would have gone back to your roots of taking out minions to get to the bosses. That's how it is. No, That's how no. it originally was. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But, anyways, guys, thing. What do you think about the trailer? We. It looks great. Gameplay should be somewhat decent. What's your opinion on the whole woke thing? Are you excited for the DLC where it's going to be a white samurai joining the crew? Are you excited for the pre-order that's going to cost you $179 for three days early access? And nothing else. And maybe a skin. Maybe. Maybe. If they feel like it. Yeah. Or or, are you going to join the monthly subscription plan? That they're going to force you to do anyways to play that to sign into the game. Like, yeah. Yeah. Ubisoft, you're just digging yourself a hole. Right. But it's where the money is. Thank you, YouTube. Be good to you. Be good to others. And we love you. Have a great day, guys.